Oh, oh, that is, oh my God. Oh my God, my frames. I'm recording this, I think at 12,000 bits rate and, and we have equal key numbers right now. Oh boy. You, you like to see it. You, you like to see it, guys. You like to see it. That is going to be a chain route. He chain routed the Eco Iki of all factions. You do not expect a chain route. What is up, guys? Today we have a double serving of a replays coming from Dev Codec on my Discord server of him. First one as the Takeda versus uh, family friendly Joseph as the Mori. And this is on rice fields uh, in the winter map, a, a season, this is a season accurate, season appropriate map. I think both of these are going to be ice and I'm watching, I'm jumping into this the first time. So I'm, I'm, I'm going through it. I'm going through it blind with you guys. You guys are experiencing with it. You guys are experiencing it with me now. Oh no. No, oh, no, my game crashed. All right. I, I guess we have a pulse. We have a pulse. So this is from Joseph's side as the Mori while Dev Codec Orendi is playing as the Takeda clan. Takeda Shingen. No, it's, not, it's not Shingen. I mean if they're playing according to the competitive rules. This is from the this is from the Shogun 2 200 APM chat tournament, this replay. I, I don't think that was featured on the actual on the actual tournament VOD from Valand, but here we are. Bringing a Nodachi heavy army. Nodachi, very, very melee infantry heavy. Nodachi samurai. Naginata warrior monks on uh, Dev Codex. And he's making an aggressive push with the cavalry. And um, Joe, uh, Joe has his cavalry to, to face him. Going for very similar builds, both of these players. Naginata warrior monks, uh, plenty of... Oh, except these are, yeah, these are Mori Wako raiders. These aren't Nodachi samurai. So he's bringing the... The Mori specialty, and he's charging in. He's charging in to the cavalry fight straight up against the Takeda, supported by Naginata warrior monks. Are they gonna catch? Are they gonna? Oh, he got caught. Takeda fire cavalry getting caught by Naginata warrior monks. That is unfortunate. I, 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 don't, I think he was too busy micromanaging the center fight on this side. We're getting Yari Ashigaru against Mori Wako raiders. Yari Ashigaru getting sh getting shredded. Joe is pushing in his Yari Ashigaru, just feeding them in slowly, sending in the Mori Wako Raiders ahead, then feeding in the the cavalry. Uh, sorry, the Yari Ashigaru. Let's see what this cavalry fight is looking like right now. Is 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 Joe actually going to win the cavalry? We have Yari Cavalry against Takeda Yari Cavalry. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. It seems like oh whoa whoa with Naginata Warrior Monk supporting. Yeah, this is not a good fight. This is just a slaughter fest. But even in these Takeda Yari Cavalry holding extremely well. They're holding extremely well on this end. Oh my god, this is this is looking like an absolute slaughter right now. This is this is looking like an absolute slaughter. Oh. 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 And it's really hard to distinguish between the Mori and the Takeda, similar color schemes. His general is getting overwhelmed now with not Shingen is getting overwhelmed right now by by none other than the Mori cavalry. What a strange role reversal. So they got scammed getting better cavalry and losing the cavalry fight. While the uh while the Yari Ashigaru just watch in the background. Yep, just watch the enemy general getting absolutely slaughtered. I think Oh I, I think I think already did the sneaky thing over here. He tried V lining for the general he tried he tried he tried beelining for the general of on naginata warrior monks but even they broke even even naginata warrior monks with their with their high morale had the had the army loss modifier come in that was that was pretty that was pretty pretty one-sided i if i if i'm if i'm gonna be honest that was pretty one-sided but we'll have to see the results i want to see what the kill counts looked like that so you go as the Takeda with superior cavalry and you get and absolutely slaughtered by a complete surround from the Mori player and Naginata warrior monks. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my, oh my lord. That was actually, that was, that was too quick. That was too quick and decisive for me to keep up with. Oh boy. Oh, we have to look at these stats right now. 
Morty Waco Ragers getting one of these almost got nearly they got nearly 300 kills on a unit of Morty Waco Ragers on melee infantry like that's really 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 good extremely cost effective they they cost I think half the price of of, of katana samurai Ooh. Oh. Meanwhile, Takeda Cavalry, Nodachi Samurai getting such low kill counts. Ooh, this is This is pretty pretty lopsided, both in terms of morale and kill counts. Jesus Christ. And he brought these Mori Wako Raiders with full XP as well, with, with 5 XP on either one. So these are extremely resilient. Extremely resilient, superior to Katana Samurai, but probably cheaper. Oh. It's it's nearly 1 to 2 KD ratio. And on to the next one. Let's see. Uh, let's let's check out the next one. This is going to be Dev. This is going to be Orendi as the Ikoiki versus Joseph coming in as the Mori. Bit of a... Uh, not, not a role reversal. Same thing. So Dev changed to the Ikoiki. Let's head on in and see how this goes. On a tr on Tranquil Streams. Oh, I remember this map playing on its... I, I got lucky. I got lucky on this map getting a... Uh, Oh my god, not not my... Why does my camera keep on doing this? Jesus Christ. Why does my camera keep on doing this? Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's more like it. Fixed it. It's all fixed. This happens all the time. I'm gonna restart that. Quick replay. View replays. I'm gonna... I, I need to... I need to restart that. I have no idea how... How how long my camera stayed crashed like that. That That's just... That's just really, really... Really unfortunate. Well, here we are. We're back. I'm glad I caught that before. Man, I do not know what is up with it. It does that every single time. Every single recording session just crashes. Like, I don't know. The camera The camera isn't even that hot. Like, I was thinking maybe it's an overheating problem. But much, I don't know. Maybe it's, just a, maybe it's just a bandwidth problem. Who knows? I might I might switch it out to different USB ports. So anyway, we have Joseph. This is from Joseph's perspective. As the Mori once again with a bunch of great guard, the other cavalry, very good cavalry. Naginata warrior monks. It looks like he went for a very similar build and he is going for the shrine. Oh, oh. He's going right for the shrine. He's going right for the shrine. Lining up just gonna use it against the Eko Eki. Try and match their morale, so. The Ikoiki no longer have a morale advantage against a Mori boy buoyed up by the by the shrine. I got really lucky on this map, I was saying before, getting an infinite uh, getting an archery dojo with infinite, you know, allowing me to replenish ammo for my fire rockets, my single unit of fire rockets, and I took out like three different units with it. Got nearly 300 kills. But it looks like they're gonna go they're gonna go out right away. Nothing, literally just right away. They are gonna charge in straight to combat. Oh, he didn't get a charge off. He did not get a charge off. Oh, oh, Joseph did not get a charge off. I saw that. He did not get a charge off. He just moved them into. These guys got a charge off. Okay. Into Lone Sword. I should got a man. Flubs on both sides. People. People, people really, really missing, missing their, their, their charges, their charge orders. Oh, oh, and look at these Wako Raiders. Oh my God. Naginata warrior monks charging into their, into their flank. Oh boy. And then he's forming up a Yachty wall on this end to cut him off. Oh boy. Yachty cavalry getting caught. That's really smart. He's trying to cut off the reinforcing cavalry, interfere with them while he, fin while he tries to finish up in this fight while he, while he tries to, to to focus on this fight so he can fococus on this fight but there are there's roaming cavalry literally every look at the surround going over here Ikoiki Naginata warrior monks against a bunch of Yari cavalry Naginata warrior monks this are Yari Ashigaru oh boy look at this look at this oh oh that is oh my god oh my god my frames I'm, I'm recording this I think at 12,000 bits rate and and we have Iko Iki numbers right now Oh boy, you, you like to see it. You, you like to see it, guys. You like to see it. That is going to be a chain route. He chain routed the Eko Iki of all factions. You do not expect a chain route to happen to the Eko Iki. But it happened. But it happened. And he's pulling out his cavalry, probably trying to get a clean charge. He just ignored the general. He's like, I'm going to go for the... 
Uh, uh, it's, I'm, I'm not gonna have enough time to take out the general, probably, he's thinking. I'm gonna go right for these soft targets. Plenty of flashing banners. Most of them are eco banners. Naginata warrior monks. Eco Naginata warrior monks having only just now starting to get some kills. Oh, this is a really close one, actually. It's going back and forth. It's, it's a slugfest. We have we have more units giving way on this side. The, the entire Mori line gave away, and, and this is the this is the line that didn't get their charge off, so it's having a, a sort of butterfly effect on the rest of the battle. While this section has held, while there are flanking cavalry on this side, he's going in for another charge. Let's see if it, let's see if anything materializes. Let's see if anything comes from this. Any lasting gains are made from this. Another routing unit, Yari Ashigaru, Iko Yari Ashigaru are routed and launch swords. And they are out of the fight. Oh, this is... I have, no, I have no idea which way this is gonna go, honestly. There's a lot of... There's a lot of Mori units left on the field, but... At the same time, the Iko Iki have Naginata Warrior Monks. They have, Nagi, they have Naginata Warrior Monks, Yari Ashigaru, and a General in Stand and Fight. I, I don't know who's gonna win this. And... I, I think... I think Joe has had to... Has, has had to pull his general back. I don't know if his general is still there in the blob. Is his general still here? I can't see. I think I think Joe might have lost. Oh no, his general is over here. So he no longer has stand and fight. So Dev forced his general to, to forsake stand and fight. He no longer he's no longer gaining the stand and fight advantage. But what De what what Joe does have is a massive cavalry advantage. He has Yachty cavalry, pretty healthy looking Yachty cavalry. That he can just keep on committing to charges, picking up soft targets, and he's charging. He's charging Yari cavalry into the eco general. Let's see if, let's see if, uh, if anything comes from this. Naginata warrior monks versus Iko Yari Ashigaru and Iko Iki Naginata warrior monks. I have no idea who's gonna win this. Joe has popped stand and fight yet again. I don't know if 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 Joe can 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 utilize can take full advantage of his cavalry of, of having cavalry of actually having cavalry left on the field he should be able to pull a victory. This is this shows you how much this shows you how this this shows you how important it is to win the early cavalry fight. Whoever wins the cavalry fight at the beginning has such a huge advantage for the rest of the battle and it's it's actually really rare to find somebody winning the cavalry fight at the beginning of a match and end up losing anyway. But there's still a Naginata Warrior Monks unit, Iko Naginata Warrior Monks at half strength. They have so much morale, even with the friends rotting. There are two of these units on the field left. I don't know if... And he's even committing his own general. <laughs> he's committing, he's throwing in everything he has. He's like, I'm going to try and get whatever morale debuff I can get. Just charging all these units down. My Lord, a glorious victory will yep. soon. That, that shows you how powerful the Iko Iki are in terms of morale. He had so... He had a huge surround and so many repeated charges just to... Just to eke out a victory over. That was hard fought. That was so hard fought. But I was... I know. It, it looked like... It looked like Arendi had it over there. Dev had it there at the... At the... Uh, at the start. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the results look like. Let's see. Let's see what the tallies look like. Got to see what the numbers look like. Okay. Unit statistics. 191. So Yari Ashigaru, no, no, no units above 200. But he has very balanced. Look at these. These are very balanced kill counts. He utilized every unit. Even the general at the very end was getting some kills in. And he was the last piece of the puzzle to get the chain route. That's such a, that's such a tough decision to make. Do you take your general out of stand and fight? Uh, especially in such a scrappy situation, if if you take your general out of stand and fight in that scenario, it could end up causing enough of a morale loss to the men. Like they no longer have the morale buff that it might tip the fight in the enemy's favor. But you also have another; it gives you an additional cavalry unit that you can use. So, look at these kill counts! My God, look look at these kill counts! There are 500, more than 500 kills just between these two Iko and Naginata warrior monks. Oh my god.
Very, very good. Wait, he had fire rockets? I, I didn't see any fire rockets. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they got... I'm guessing the fire rockets got charged or got knocked out. Yeah, they, 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 got, they got knocked out really early, I'm guessing. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. If he, if he managed to use this unit better, I think... He didn't bring any cavalry units at all. That is interesting. So he was banking on the full melee slog and it seemed to... It was so close. His, his gambit was so close to working out. And he had fire rockets. I think if he used... If he managed to get just one or two volleys out, that would have been enough to tip the rest of the fight in his favor. He was so close. So close. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you next time. You can hop onto Discord and share your replays and get featured in one of these videos uh, for our own enjoyment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely appreciate the support. You can hop onto Discord and join in all the fun. We talk about everything gaming and non-gaming related. Find people to play games with. You can also uh, hop onto my Patreon, support the channel. I definitely appreciate the support and get access to exclusive videos. And you can also check out the merch store. Get your own branded merch caps, beanies, bottles, water bottles over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!